Hello class, this is Mr. Hart, and in this podcast we want to start our next unit on similarity and geometric proofs. So we're going to start with similarity, but before we can even get into similarity, we have to talk about an idea called dilation. Okay? It's both an idea and a tool that we'll use in math to help us solve similarity problems. Okay? So a dilation is when we have a shape. Okay? For example, this triangle ABC right here. Okay? And we want to make it either bigger or smaller, smaller. Okay, but we want to keep the same properties of the shape, meaning it has the same angles, the side lengths have the same ratios to each other. Okay, it's basically just the same shape, but it's either bigger or smaller. So if we take this triangle ABC and we make this new triangle, which we call A prime, B prime, C prime, that little apostrophe right there just means new, right? Prime means new. But anyways, the point is, this triangle right here could be dilated to this triangle right here, basically made bigger or smaller, right, to make a new triangle. Okay, so a dilation is when we take one shape and we make it bigger or smaller and make it a new shape, but it still has those same properties. Okay, and we can tell that these triangles are a dilation of each other by figuring out how long each side length is. Okay. So for example, we look at this triangle right here. A to B is a side length of 4. And this side length right here goes from 1 to 4, and that's a side length of 3. Okay, Compare it to this triangle right here, A prime to B prime. That goes from 4 to 12, so that's a side length of 8. And A prime to C prime goes from 2 to 8, so that's a length of 6. So notice... This side grew by twice as much, and this side grew as by twice as much. Okay, So when all the sides are growing by the same amount, that's a dilation, and the amount that they're growing by is what we call the scale factor. The scale factor. So in this case, the scale factor would be 2, because each side multiplied by 2 to get the new triangle. Okay, so that's the idea. We have a dilation. We times each side by a scale factor, and we get a new triangle or a new shape, whatever it is, that is that much times bigger or that many times bigger. Okay, let me show you an example of what we mean. Okay, so let's say we have this um, square right here, okay, and we want to center our dilation at 0, 0 and we want to have a scale factor of 2, and we want to be able to draw what the new shape will look like. Okay, That means we're going to start right here at 0, 0, and we're going to look at how far away everything is from 0, 0. So this point right here is 4 up from 0, 0. Okay? That means the new square, the dilated square, better start twice as far away, because we have a scale factor of 2, so instead of being 4 up, it better start 8 up. Okay? Likewise, this point right here is 4 away from 0, so it better start 8 out because it's twice as far away. Okay. And then this last point is 4 out and 4 up, so it better start 8 out and 8 up for this scale factor of 2. So our new square that has a scale factor of 2, it's been dilated by 2, should look like this. So there you go. Each side is now twice as long, and each point is now twice as far away. Okay, so that's our scale factor of 2. So you analyze each point, take it twice as far away from wherever the center is, and that's your dilation. Okay? Let's look at another example. So now we have centered at 0, 0, but now our scale factor is 1 half. Okay? So now we're going to be actually getting smaller because we're, we're taking each side and you know dividing it by two. We're going in half. And this has a special word. Okay, We call this a reduction. Okay, Any dilation that makes something smaller is a reduction. Or basically, if the scale factor is less than one, then it's a reduction. Okay, In this case, it's less than one. It's a half. So this thing is getting smaller. So it's a reduction. Okay, now let's actually draw what this is going to look like. Okay, so we start at 0, 0, that's our center of our dilation. 
So we look at each point, and we want to be half as far away from 0, 0 when we do the dilation. Okay, so this point right here, it's negative 2 out, okay? So we went negative 2 out, and it's 2 up. Okay, so negative 2 out, 2 up. Okay, so that means the new point in the dilation is going to be half as far away. So it should be negative 1 out and 1 up. So negative 1 out and 1 up. Okay. This point right here is 1 out and 1 up. Okay. And so when we do the dilation, it should be a half out and a half up. Okay. This point right here is 2 out and negative 2 down. Okay. I think I'm writing those on the wrong side, but either way, uh, it's 2 out and 2 down, so now it should be 1 out and 1 down. Okay. And then this last point was negative 1 out and negative 1 down. So it should be 1 half down and 1 half out. So when we draw this new shape, um, let me draw the actual lines so it's nice and clear what we're looking at. Our dilated shape should look like this. Okay, so it's the exact same shape, but now it's half as big. Okay, that scale factor of one half made it half as big. Okay, so the point is you look at each point, you determine how far away they are from the center, and then times those distances by the scale factor. Okay, let's do one more example problem just to make sure we got this down. Okay, let's do this one. So this one's a little bit different because now our center is actually not inside the shape. Okay, our center is still 0, 0. But that actually doesn't reside inside that triangle. Okay, but we're still trying to make it twice as big. So it turns out you don't have to have the center inside the shape in order to do the dilation. We just do the same process as before. So we look at this point. We say, well, it's 3 up and 1 over. Okay, so it's 3 up and 1 over. And so it should be twice as far away now, right? Scale factor of 2. So it should be 6 up and 2 over. Okay. This point right here is 1 down, negative 1 down, and 1 over. Okay. So now it should be 2 down and 2 over. So that will be the new point for this guy right there. And the last one is 3 over and 1 down, so it should be 6 over and 2 down, okay, timesing everything by 2. So now we got our new triangle. Connect the points, and there you go. Okay, each side is twice as long, the paint points are twice as far away from the center, and there you go. There's our dilation of this triangle. So even though the center was not inside the shape, you can still do the dilation. Okay? But there you go. There's your homework. Um, you're just going to be dilating shapes based on the center and the scale factor. Okay? Um, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.